Hi schoolers of Reddit, what is the biggest oh it, it's about to go down moment that you've experienced with either students, teachers, or even both? Not currently in high school, but when I was a freshman there were a few before moving schools. Topping the list was definitely when a kid wouldn't take his hat off his head so a screaming match started. Teacher takes hat off of kid. Kid throws a chair at the teacher. Teacher puts hat in the microwave and turns it on. Kid dumps deer urine on teacher. This was in South Carolina and he had plans to go hunting that evening. Not just carrying around deer piss. Anyways that teacher was put on leave during a lawsuit and the temp teacher was a family friend who cheated on her husband and was going through a divorce. Her son was also in the class. That made things interesting. A kid got another kid's girlfriend pregnant without their knowledge. Kid thinks he can keep it a secret. Girlfriend rats him out. The next day at school everyone hears screaming coming from the hallway before the first bell rang. This kid got beaten to a pulp. Got his jaw broken. And broke his nose. It took four security guards to restrain the enraged boyfriend from beating the id out of this kid. The girlfriend stood there and had an expression of WTF on her face. My school had the usual cliques. There were the smokers, the jocks, the nerds, and then a big mix of just everyone else. One day the smokers from my school and the smokers from the high school across the street started arguing. These arguments went on for a few weeks. Basically about smoking territory or summit. One day I went and got a burger and then came back and parked in front of the smoke pit. As soon as I did the other school's smokers started walking over with knives, chains, baseball bats, etc. I was like yep it's about to go down. They had made threats and someone phoned the police to give them some info on what was happening and what might happen. The school resource officer walked out and resolved the issue. I just sat there eating my burger. A fight broke out between four kids selling pot during lunch. The lunchroom erupted. Teachers started dragging kids out. A youngish band teacher picks up a kid to haul him out. Lady next to starts screaming duck him up. Duck him up. It was her son and she told him to go after a teacher. We had a legitimate food fight in 8th grade. I remember the rumors being spread. And then the girl standing up on the table and yelling food fight. The moment the first few people started throwing food was the moment I knew it was going down. We had to eat lunch in classrooms in complete silence for the rest of the year. All field trips cancelled. Worth it. My neighbor's Karen of a grandmother came storming over to my school bus while we were still in the parking lot. The driver hadn't closed the doors yet. So she got on the bus. My brother was sat at the back. I was at the front. Just behind the door. Karen starts screaming at my brother while the bus driver tries to keep her from getting on the bus. My brother starts screaming back. She's accusing him of bullying her granddaughter, our neighbor. She tells him to get off the bus so she can beat him. Or something. I don't even know. He stands up as if to say go on. Then. Then school security comes over and pulls her away. The bus driver closes the door and we leave you over. Fun. Officers of discipline in my high school let two students box. Literally with boxing gloves. Atop the quadrangle stage. The officers. Among them being teachers too. Did that to let the kids settle their little fight beforehand. These officers tasked other students to film it. So the students did. These officers also tasked them to upload it on Facebook. Needless to say. It made the national news. I was in one of the classes that had all the bad kids. The ones that always talk and piss off the teacher and never get their work done. One day teacher had already had a bad day and those kids were extra rowdy. And teacher snapped. He smacked a metal ruler down on his desk so loud the entire class went silent. Started cursing us out and got his code red box down off the shelf and kept it open on his lap the rest of class. And kicked four kids out. Code red box was significant. Because he was an ex-marine who told us he was allowed certified to have a gun on campus and alluded to the fact that it was in that box. But didn't explicitly say it. That's what terrified us. Turns out he was bulleting about the gun to get us to shut up. He actually had bear spray and a large metal pipe in there. He had respect for the rest of the year. Our dean of students, the disciplinarian, was a former marine and one day two dudes started fighting in the cafeteria and he vaulted over one of those old school long cafeteria tables to get to them and break them up. The calf went silent when he did lol. 
There was a fist fight in the snow one year and at one point one guy got his shirt ripped. So he stopped the fight to take his shirt off and handed it to one of us to hold so it wasn't just sitting in a pile of snow. As that was happening the other dude punched him in the back of the head. Ripped shirt responded by whipping out a knife just to end the fight because the other guy basically fought with no honor. The head puncher ran away. Soon came back with a big ass friend and they started chucking nearby firewood at Nifi Mikno shirt until he biked off. The rest of us were dying laughing the whole time because it was silly how much it escalated. I was late to class but I just pointed out the window at where we were and said oh sorry there was a knife fight and fell into the lesson with everyone in shock. The nerd table. Reddit we're looking at you. And the football player table had a long running tradition of throwing stuff at each other during lunch. One day. My best friend chucked a thing of McDonald's barbecue sauce and it exploded all over his shirt. The football coach lunch teacher ran over. Bright red with smoke coming out of his ears while a distraught football player with red stuff all over his shirt was screaming at us. The coach gets to us and yells WHO did that. We were all pussies and ratted out our friend. He yells ducking nerds and flips our table ruining lunch. Plus we had to clean it up. We saw our friend again. But he was a different man. A quieter man. But he was a man. A female student's mother came into class in the 6th grade to confront the teacher about her child being on detention even though she brought a note for why she couldn't do pay that day. All I remember, aside from this student's mother yelling at our teacher was her saying she wanted to take our teacher outside. Our teacher asked if it was okay with us if she did go outside. We stupidly all said yes, not knowing what it meant. In the end she had one of us kids run and get our principal. They ended up arguing outside. We heard it all. The parent was a complete psycho with a daughter that had lots of attitude and personal problems. Poor kid. Hope she turned out alright. Teacher resigned the following year and never went back. Hardly blame her. Not currently in HS. But we had fights all the time. The resource security officer jumped on a lunch table. Stepped on two kids lunch trays and launched himself at one of the kids about to sock another kid in the jaw. Everyone went down on the floor and the officer had to wrestle the instigator off the other kid. A food fight started amid this due to the two lunch trays that were stepped on flying off the table and hitting another kid in the back. It was pure comedy that a script writer couldn't have written better. In third grade I remember there was a girl who had anger issues because of some sort of mental problem. One day in class. She was really behind on work and seemed really stressed, muttering to herself. I don't remember what the teacher said, but this girl just ducking snapped. She just flipped her desk and grabbed the teacher by the throat and was like now you listen to me or sumped being and started going off. Everyone just sat there shocked. But looking back it's actually a pretty funny sight. A small chubby third grader just scaring the id out of a grown ass woman lol. She ended up getting sent to a special school or something. It's kind of a shame because I talked to her in art class once and she was actually a really nice person. It was just clear that she had some issues and would snap sometimes. Never heard about her again. One more. This one was actually me. This one needs some backstory. I was in middle school and I was in advanced math so I went to the high school every morning for math. And we had to take a bus back to the middle school for the rest of the day. And this bus driver was always late. And plus this bus was so small that some of the kids had to sit on the floor. And there were like 40 some kids screaming and yelling. So one day like every other she pulls up 10 minutes late and as normal we crowd on the bus pushing and shoving for a seat. So she stands in the aisle blocking and yells that if we crowd on the bus one more time like this we will all have to walk to the middle school. And mind you this was already a 10 minute drive. So out my stupidity. I yell I will so she pulled me aside kicked me off the bus and drove away. And my mom had to come pick me up. Edit. Thanks to all of you for the upvotes. This is the most I've ever gotten. I went to a south side school in Chicago. Mainly with Hispanics. Blacks. And Asians. This was middle school BTW. One time this boy. Let's name him Tony. And this girl Jean had beef. She was constantly talking so much it and Tony pushed this girl so hard he shifted all of the four desk tables in the room. Then he grabbed her hair and started dragging her across the room and started to throw punches. Another time during recess. Police officers came and arrested my Spanish teacher. He is like a 300-400 LB Mexican guy. 
who was always really kind to the students. He used to tickle me when I was in 6th and 7th grade. Then only to find out and he grabbing girls tits. Jerking off in class. And many other things that sexually harassed girls. My ex-boyfriend at the time cussed my reading teacher out and made her cry. He called her a fattitch that doesn't know how to do anything but look like a ducking pear. Funny thing was he was Asian and the valedictorian of our graduating class. Another time during recess. The tallest black girl from my class. And a black midget started fighting. Lol. The midget still won. He was swinging on her hard as hell with them lil ass legs. Edit. 1. Forgot to mention the midget got expelled during 7th grade for bringing a gun to school. At the homecoming bonfire. Where it was a tradition to TP or spray shaving cream on the incoming class of freshmen. There was something in the air that October. Something darker than usual on the hint of winter air that told of trouble on the way. When the field lights went off and the fire was high people also started throwing around eggs. Punctured bottles of mayonnaise. And water balloons filled with naya. Calling for the death of kids who had the audacity to be freshmen. The dean was not happy. The teachers were not happy. The police who had to show up to get things in hand were not happy. Neither were a lot of male sophomores and juniors who still looked like freshmen who lost some hair that night. At least the folks wilding out didn't. To my recollection. Target any young ladies for epilating. There were definitely some with tear streaks of mascara running over the mayonnaise on their faces though. This was actually in 7th grade. But during Spanish class. Two students started arguing over some stupid bullet. Usually would just be verbal arguments. But things started to escalate shortly after it started. The girl came over to the boy and said say it to my face. After some more verbal arguing. They started hitting each other. While I don't remember exactly who it was. One of the two got a chair and was about to throw it at the other. What baffles me the most is that our sub Spanish teacher was there the entire time and was going along with the kids when they were verbally arguing. Instead of breaking the kids up when it got physical. He ran outside to get someone. Which he could have done after. So yeah. Some kids had to separate the two. This is unrelated. But me and my friends ended up getting him fired since we told our school counselor. Who we were very familiar with. That he had called us retarded in class. Which was indeed true. School in the middle of Wisconsin. A hick who was known for being in trouble all the time in my high school was sitting in the cafeteria at lunch and dropped the n-bomb on one of the few people of color in the school. What this kid didn't know is that the guy he just used a slur on came from Southside Chicago. That kid got ripped off his seat and stomped on as hard as possible for about a full minute. We could see blood pooling under the table when he was finally separated from the attacker. He was taken out of the school by the first responders where he had 5 facial reconstruction surgeries. There was this really annoying kid that would always walk around like he owned the school. So annoying. Anyways, one day, he comes waltzing into the band room and just starts banging on the drums. There's a rule in our band room to not touch percussion instruments unless you are a percussionist. This kid was not. So we're sitting there watching him mess with the drums and this colorgard girl goes into the back. Comes back with her gun thing that they twirl around. Not sure what it's called. And she just hits him with it. And so he runs. And she chases after him. It was legit. In 8th grade English class. My teacher didn't speak Spanish obviously. This teacher is strict. When I say strict I mean like the kind of teacher to kick a kid out of a classroom because he sneezed during a test. So one of the choir kids said some weird Spanish word under his breath. And this teacher went ape it on him. We only speak proper English in this class. What did you just say in a tone like a Karen? And with the smuggest look on his face he screams in English IT means you're a itch and she went ducking ballistic on him. Edit. Thanks to all of you for the upvotes. Walked out of class to C7. One of which was SWAT. Officers detaining one student. Watching the wired kid tear down the hallway towards the exit of the school after pissing off the gym teacher. Islamic Lebanese refugee. Whose locker was full of Hezbollah kill for Allah propaganda. This was well before 9 stroke 11. Came to school purposefully walking with a significant length of metal pipe prowling the halls clearly looking for someone. He found him. Just as I was bolting for someone big enough to take down this fully adult human being who was reaching back into high school because of refugee needed his diploma status. 
and he just ducking went for some other dude. I missed when he found the guy because I like many were scrambling going no. It, Muhammad, yes that was his name, is about to duck and lose it. But I saw the aftermath. There was blood everywhere. I'm glad I didn't see it. Because 21-22 years wailing on a 15 year old can do significant damage. Needless to say that was the last time I saw Mohammed. Many years later. And after 9 stroke 11. I asked whatever happened to that ducking lunatic from a classmate who was also like the only other Muslim in school and had attempted to befriend him. He got really sad. Apparently dude went home and told his father he had bought a ticket to Lebanon to join the cause. And his father was like the hell you are. I risked death to get you. Me and this family out of there. I tried to get us away from this sickening nonsense. What the hell is wrong with you? Muhammad shot his father for standing in his way. Then got on a plane and was never seen again. Later, when two planes slammed into buildings on that fateful day, I was like dude. I know the kind of ducking person who does that it. Stone cold ducking psychopath. Posted this before. This happened either in my junior or senior year. New principal. A woman. Banned female students from bringing in their own pads and tampons from due to some students sneaking in drugs inside them. If a female student needed one they would have to go to the nurse's office. Ask for a bathroom pass. Then finally go back to the bathroom. And lastly back to class. It took forever so teachers even the males hid pads tampons in their desk to make it easier. Yet they soon also get banned to have stockpiles of them. The WTF moment was when the principal installed the red pants rule. If a female student or staff member had a period leak that stained their clothing they had to go to the nurse off for dark red sweet pants. Part of our school colors. And wear them till they get home. It just caused more bullying and became a game to some people. Try to spill red drinks on people or putting reddish brown paint of chairs for people to sit in. Students. Staff. And parents threatened to sue the school and the principal. People were fake stained pants even the guys did to protest. Principal got rid of the rule and quit her job. 20 minutes before school let out one day a kid figured out the code to use the two-way phone intercom in a classroom. Made an announcement that officer Lantini, school liaison police, go sucker D. Days immediately followed was like a movie high school. Literally everyone was talking about the incident. Haha, <laughs> not me but a friend of mine. We were standing in the lobby and windows lined the hallway. She started arguing with another girl and the other girl ended up pushing her while she was right in front of a window. Luckily we were on the ground floor because she went straight through the window. Backpack first. At my school we had a variety of different cultures, but two major ones. People from these cultures often got into fist fights. But what was funny was that one would take off their shirts to fight and the other would take off their shoes. So we'd always have shirtless guys fighting shoeless guys. So ridiculous. So if you saw someone slipping off their shoes or taking off their shirt, it was about to go down. This is also an alternative way of saying my school had some pretty big race issues. There was a refugee family from Sudan who moved to where I lived. A mom with five sons. I went to school with the two older sons in high school and became good friends with them. One day a kid who is known to be racist decides to go at one of them and drops a n-bomb as well as a couple of other racial demeaning comments. I go to fight the racist so my friend doesn't have extra issues because of recently coming to Canada. He took two steps and head kicked the guy and dropped him. The guy goes to get back up eats another hard kick and now I am trying to hold my friend back from killing the guy. The racist got kicked out. Apparently the school district got tired of his it and all that happened to my friend was missing two days of school. RCMP decided not to press charges because of the known nature of the racist who would go out to native reserves to try and intentionally start fights. I was close friends with someone who had some anger issues. He was also a black belt in karate, which is important later on. He hung out all the time after school, but went to different schools. So, he had just transferred over to my high school sophomore year I think. We both had similar classes which I was happy about. Keep in mind, he has anger issues. So, first day, we're coming into class, side by side, and someone behind us just blurts out, Hey new kid, who's your boyfriend? At first he ignores him, but this dude just keeps harassing my friend. I tell my friend to just ignore him, but he keeps on going. 
Eventually, my friend just snaps and he just Mike Tysons this dude in the nose. He goes to the floor and my friend just starts beating the id out of this man. Of course I'm freaking out cause my closest friend might get expelled. So me and a few other people separate the two. My friend's really strong. And they both go to the principal's office. Remarkably, they both get away with a two week suspension. But it was still crazy. TL. DR. Some dude harassed my black belt friend with anger issues and gets the it beat out of him. Our school was in the middle of transitioning from one administration to the other. The soon to be admin put the previous one in bad taste. But everyone liked the previous one and would rather not have the new admin. They held a school gathering. And one student confronted the new school president through a mickd candor. Everyone went berserk in that auditorium. Luckily, no one got suspended. But the new admin still crappy by the time I graduated. <laughs> student. The two smartest kids in the whole school got into the fight about a maths equation. The first one put a savage roast on the other but I can't remember it. The second threw a ducking table at him. Turns out neither were right. We had a substitute teacher who didn't know one of the kids liked to pace the classroom. Teacher told the kid to sit down multiple times. Kid would keep responding with I'm not a dog until the sub threatened to report him to the dean. He yelled okay. You deserve this and reached into his bag. He was just ducking with everyone. But it was terrifying. Well, I'm a high schooler this year now. But when I was in middle school, there was a kid in my art class. When we were using X-Acto knives for carving into clay for pottery, he legitimately said out loud, I'm going to cut my hand with this. And not even 10 minutes later, he asks if he can go to the nurse's office because he cut himself. It's been two years and we know each other now. I still laugh at this when I bring it up. So does he. But he had good carving for his pottery. Truthfully being said, he had the best in the class. My buddy fighting another kid behind our high school. Probably about 50 people showed up and were circling them as they were two of the biggest and roughest guys in school. Anyways they started fighting some blows were exchanged and a wild police car literally drove through some bushes apparently knowing the fight was going to take place with its sirens blaring. Everyone ran. This kid started yelling and trying to fight the teacher. Our teacher rolled up his sleeves and everyone had a know it moment. But the kid just walked out of the room trying to look all tough. My high school was pretty chill. Maybe it was because it was catered to be more like a family aura rather than the cliquish snobbish stereotype you see in movies not to say there were about a handful of the classic queenage about the only time i can recall when it was about to go down was when i then a part of the freshman class and my classmates won the field day competition at our school the seniors flipped out why since they were graduating and had not won a single field day the previous three years they felt they had priority and should win by default they literally started throwing leftover pie tins full of whipped cream and water balloons at the sophomores and half the junior class who supported the fact that the freshmen won fair and square. Freshmen were also targeted. Basically it was a nasty mess. My friends and I were never nailed. Thank god. But it was a pretty nasty aftermath. It looked like a tornado made of whipped cream and balloon parts hit. Biggest insult? To prevent anarchy from arising. The school gave the win to the seniors. Oh man. Our class made a point of sending them a video the next field day that we won as sophomores. Our high school was under construction my senior year so we had to park in the neighboring streets or the middle school parking lot. I parked in the middle school lot one day and was heading to lunch which didn't leave much time to get a bite and get back for class. Lunch hour was the same time the middle school kids would all be outside for recess. Me and a few friends have to drive the long way around the one way parking lot. But all these kids are coming in from recess. I'm almost to the exit and noticed the middle school principal running after my car screaming. I say screw it and just kept going. The next day I'm called to the office and given a $500 fine and 8 points off my license for reckless endangerment of people or property. I ended up getting a lawyer and going to trial to fight the bullet charges and won. Middle school principal didn't acknowledge my existence after I beat his ass in court. So this girl in my older sister's class, known for being a rich, was just sitting down ignoring the substitute teacher they had that day. The teacher caught her falling asleep and cursing her under her breath multiple times but the sub was pretty chill so she let it slide. 
She did it so many more times that she snapped and yelled at her. The whole class went quiet. Apparently, the guy sitting behind each girl tied her shoelaces together. This girl was so out of focus and angry she didn't even notice. So, she flipped off the teacher and started to storm out of the room. I'm sure you can guess what happened next. TL. DR. A girl flipped off the substitute teacher and fell face forward as she stormed out. My friend who was into drugs and smoking sophomore year and JR year was challenged to a 3 volt 3 to see who was the toughest in the high school. And as a not next to the school is a large park with a giant empty concrete square in the middle of the grass. They walked to the park and so did 60 or 70 students to record the fight. My friend and his two other friends fight fist to fist but one of the kids on the other side had a switch blade and then when people saw that blade, it got real. The blade was grabbed out of this senior's hand while he was being punched and threw the switch blade into the forest. The kid that had the switch blade tried to run away but they caught up to him and started beating him into the concrete floor. Needless to say concrete and bones at a good match the switchblade KD got a fractured skull and was bleeding from his nose and ear after the fight and his other two druggy friends ran away after they saw what happened. My friend was charged for the fight and went to juvie for 5 months. I know PPL recorded it but it occurred over 2 years ago.